On Monday, 538 Americans will meet to determine who the next president of the United States will be. Representatives from all states will convene six weeks after the elections in the meeting of the Electoral College. Now, CCTV's Yasmin Alamiri explains this unique part of the American election process. Could the outcome of a U.S. presidential election change after a nominee is named president-elect? It's theoretically possible, but it would be unprecedented. And it's all related to the U.S. Electoral College. The Electoral College process was set up by the framers of the U.S. Constitution and is designed so that when citizens go to the polls to elect a president, they're actually casting a vote for a group of people known as electors. Those electors meet 41 days after the popular election to cast their ballot. The Electoral College is made up of 538 electors and a presidential nominee needs 270 to win. Under that system, states with more people have more electors. For example, California has the most electors with 55, Texas has 38, Florida has 29, and seven states plus the District of Columbia have the fewest with just three. Most states have a winner-take-all system awarding electors to the winning presidential nominee, but Maine and Nebraska have a proportional allocation of electoral votes. Because of the way the U.S. election system has been set up, it's possible for a nominee to win the electoral college even if he or she loses the popular vote. That has happened four times in U.S. history, most recently with last month's election where president-elect donald trump won the electoral college threshold of 270 while democratic nominee hillary clinton won the popular vote by more than 2.5 million votes before that republican george w bush won the electoral college in 2000 but not the popular vote which was actually won by democrat al gore Bush went on to become president after the U.S. Supreme Court ruled to stop a voter recount in the state of Florida. Following the vote of the Electoral College members, the results of the presidency are final. And on January 20th, a new president will be sworn into office.